Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And today I want to talk about, well, it's a question that I get asked often. And that is, when is the best time to catch fish? When's the best time to fish? I know a lot is a personal preference. Some people really enjoy the morning bite. Some people like that sunset bite. And while other people really like going after them overnight. Now each one of these, these fishing strategies work great. I mean, myself, I love the morning bite. I specifically love the morning bite around a new moon because that is when it is the darkest time of the month. And the fish aren't feeding all night. And when you have that little bit of light in the sky, it will really trigger the bait fish and it will really trigger that bite. So that gives you a great opportunity to be out there is around the new moon. That is my personal preference. My favorite time to fish is around the new moon. Now, when you are fishing during a full moon, in the mornings, it can be a grind. You might only have a real small window right at sunrise where you're going to get on those fish because, let's face it, they've been fishing all night. So a full moon is kind of tricky. Now, fishing sunsets. Sunsets have a great benefit, especially during the warmer time of the year where the water temperature is going to get a little cooler as the sun starts to go down and it's going to trigger that bite as well. So if you're so if you have the opportunity to fish around a sunset, then I will take that that opportunity because, again, that transition and light change will, can really trigger a bite. And as far as fishing overnight, you know, again, this is the warmer time of the year. So a lot of times as a fisherman, as an angler, we don't want to be out there in those hot summer days. So it's a great time to get out there on the water where you can just have a little, be a little cooler. And it's not, you don't have that sun beating down on you. But you can also take advantage of those overhead lights and those green lights and really get after those fish that are feeding around those areas. Now, one of the key things to trying to find when the best time to fish is water movement. Water movement is key. Anytime you have good water movement, whether it's incoming or outcoming tides, incoming or outgoing tides, it can really trigger a bite. The fish are more active, the bait is more active, which makes the fish more active, and it's just really gonna give you the opportunity to catch fish rather than just fishing for fish. Now, water movement really plays a big role in triggering a bite. Knowing the tide and the tide movement is gonna let you know when the best time to be out there. And I'm, I'm, gonna help, I'm gonna show you a website that I use quite often. I have it saved on my phone, so I pull it up and use it all the time. So I'll show you that here in a second. But it's also good to know time on the water. It's also good to know that area, whether an incoming tide or an outgoing tide is best to fish what area. Some locations are really, really good to fish on an incoming tide. While on an outgoing tide, it might not be so good. So time on the water is key to know the area and know the fish activity. But we're gonna switch real fast to the PC because I just wanna show you this. Um, they don't have an app for it. It's just on the internet. So I just wanna show you on the PC real fast on one of the things that I use, especially when I'm inshore fishing and looking at tide and a few other elements. Help me forecast and plan my trip so I'm out there at the right time to catch fish. Okay, so this site is called tidesforfishing.com. I have been using it for a long time, a lot of years. Now, one of the things that I like this so much is because you have a pretty good selection. So I'm in the Galveston area. So you have a pretty good selection of, of readings and tide charts that you can get to the area. Now, I'm not going to get too much into detail about this site you can kind of look at it and play play around with it yourself i just want to touch on a few key points and try to keep the the time within the time frame of this video so we're going to scroll down right here now this is the barrett metric pressure now right now today on the 27th of friday we have a rising we have a rising pressure where are we at we're right here we're about nine o'clock in the morning it's about 9 40 in the morning now you have a rising pressure now as you have a rising pressure it's great for the fish and that's really the best time to fish for them is during the rising pressure for inshore fish because 
I just recently found this out because I wanted I'm doing this video so I want to do a little research and and figure out uh, the Barrett metric pressure now this will tell you right here tell you when it's good like I said it's very good good or poor so right now it's very good pressure now fish have fish can sense when you have a rising pressure based on their bladder so when the pressure is falling that's going to expand the expand their bladder and make them discomfort so when it's rising it's going to it's going to shrink their bladder up and it's going to make them well it's going to make them feel better so when you're feeling better and you're in a good mood and you're you're active and you're hanging out with your buddies and you're eating you're hanging out you're 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 more active and when you don't feel good well you just kind of want to just lay low and not be bothered so that's kind of funny in that aspect that a rising pressure is good because fish feel better falling pressure is bad because fish don't feel so good so they're really not worried about your soft plastic or your top water or whatever you're throwing they're they're not concerned about eating so you can just see right here how the pressure is rising and then it gives you the best opportunity to hook up and then when it starts falling and kind of what what I see anyway is like that middle of the day that little grind and that low in the bite so and then you have it falling and then that's when the bites gonna kind of shut off a little bit or so it'll be a little more struggle to get them to bite all right moving down now again like I said I'm not gonna touch on a whole bunch of this now a lot of this information is important but I'm trying to keep this video a little short don't want to get too much into this but well, I will say this you can take a look right here at the tide movement like I said a minute ago tide movement is very important it is very key to know what the tide is doing when you go out know when high tide is no one low tide is now typically for me at high tide around high tide and low tide either an hour before and an hour after or both an hour before and an hour after of high tide an hour before and an hour after low tide is the best time that i've seen that i hook up and i catch fish it's again it's that water movement so you can see right here it has a very high fish activity around 5 a.m just right before the sunrise right after during and after and a little before low tide in the morning and again high tide 10 30 you have an average fish activity again it goes back down low tide 6 21 p.m just a little before you're probably gonna get just a little after two that you're going to have that very high fish activity this let me just stop right here this information is not etched in stone it doesn't mean at 6 15 you're just gonna be ripping fish out of the water just be honest this is just a simple forecast a simple tool that you can use to help you narrow down when you want to be on the water and narrow down the best bite times for you okay so we're going to shoot on down here. And this kind of shows you by day your fish activity based on the moon phase. So you can see right here where we are today. It is a one fish, which is fish activity is average. Tomorrow you kind of have a high fish activity. Sunday you kind of have a high fish activity. But that's just what's forecasted. And again, right here you can see again this is just a theory for today you have a major period of time from 4 to 6 a.m. and then another major activity time from 4 22 p.m. to 6 22 p.m. and then here's some additional minor times that you have that the fish are going to be more active again I have been looking at moon phases for years I have been looking and and fishing around tie chart for years this stuff is not etched in stone it's really good just to give you a tool a measuring stick to use like as for myself coming back up here and looking at the high tide I want to be out there if I'm gonna fish a sunset bite then I want to be out there around two o'clock or three o'clock so I can get to the spot that I want to fish so I can make sure I maximize that that low tide and that 
bite forecast, if you will. So this is one of the one of the apps that I use. Actually, it's not an app. Again, it's just a site. This is one of the site and some of the information I use when I am inshore fishing and fishing around the bay. But I know there's all kind of apps out there. There's all kind of information out there. I know I have friends of mine that use some different apps and totally different apps than I use and some totally different sites that I use. And if you have a site or an app that you use, please leave it in the comment section below just in case I want to check it out or one of the other viewers want to check it out. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. Like I said, this is a question that I get asked quite a lot. When is the best time to fish? And that is when you can. Whenever you can get on the water, get on the water. Even if it is a slow bite, there's not a lot of water movement. There is so much that we can learn from, from grinding out a catch or two. There's so much you can learn from being out there on the water. Time on the water is key. It is critical to being successful. It's like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to be. The more you do it, the more knowledge you're going to have. But I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. And like I said before, if you have anything, any great information that I might have left out or something that you've done or tried or a site that you use or an app that you use that myself or any other viewers can benefit from, please leave it in the comment section below. I appreciate each and every one of you. And hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.